Hello and welcome back to Settlement Survival. We are continuing our playthrough here. Where we are getting just utterly destroyed. Uh, we did upgrade this mine, so let's go ahead and sw switch that to coal. Put everybody back to work. Yep. Uh, where did we leave off exactly? I feel like we were in a pretty good place. We're definitely fine on food. We don't have to worry about that at all. Um, how is our caravan doing? It's almost done trading. Nothing, nothing on the horizon. There's a boat coming, but not anytime in the immediate future. We are working away on the cotton cloth here. I have a feeling we have like way too much cotton. I'm going to add more people here to make more bedding. Output limit reached. Uh, I is that as high as this goes? Can I make it higher? I have no idea. All right, well, what's going on here? We use the cotton cloth to make bedding sets. Bedding sets are used in regular houses, not these fancy houses these fancy houses need luxury bedding which we do not have speaking of let's continue to upgrade these houses our caravan is returning right now with unexpected gains Oh, wow. We got tacos. I didn't know that was a thing, but all right. Okay, so where we left off with the last one, we were making mulberries. And we were doing that so that we can make silkworm sheds. So hopefully, starting next year, we will end up with some actual mulberries to work with. But we shall see. We do still have some homeless people. I'm not exactly sure how they're still here. How they're still homeless. Um, let's look at our options here. Okay, so we did go all the way down to furniture. And the reason we did the mulberry and the silk is so we can make silk, so we can make better bedding. So... What else do we need? We already finished. We probably should do. Okay, that that needs seal fur. But in order to get seal fur, we need um, fishing. We need to head down here. So let's get hand carts. And then now that we have hand carts, we can start going down this fishing tree here. All right. Let's form another caravan. We are still working with Carlos here. I think Carlos is the one that lets us do seed trading. Yep. So I want to get to Reputation 4, if possible. So let's sell some items. We are going to start with 28 to 14. And then raw material, we have plenty of cotton. But I think that is worth more. It's about the same, and we are running lower on fat now. So let's go ahead and sell this. What do we need? A hundred and or a thousand? Well, 
one and four six. Let's go ahead and form a caravan. Send that on its merry way. And keep the uh, cash rolling in. Remember, we need to get to like 42,000 to buy the next thing we need, which I believe is like horses, which we'll need more corrals for. It's going pretty well so far, though. We are running a little low on laborers, which is a little surprising. I thought updating these houses would end up um, letting more people live here. Maybe I need to build, like, interim housing. Let's rotate this. Yeah, I think building the interim house probably be handy for the immigrants. And then the lux as we upgrade these luxury houses and we start putting more stuff in them, we could put bedding in here. And that'll increase the number of occupants, but that doesn't really help when there's only one family. It just doesn't do much for us. So actually, I don't even know why I'm making this bedding. If it's all going to be kind of wasted. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I'm gonna I need silk to make luxury bedding. That that's the thing that matters. Uh what are you waiting for? Tomatoes, probably. Yeah, I think we might want to build another Do you think we can build another uh plantation over here I don't think it'll fit maybe we can build it up here we did kind of max out this area although if I get rid of this I could put it right here yeah if I get rid of this um this well which is paused anyway Maybe I can grow some more tomatoes over here. How's this filling up? It's filling up pretty good. I have a lot of fat in here. I probably shouldn't store that much, but that... We'll see. We'll see how well it goes. Alright, we need to build another... Plantation... If anything, just because I need more tomatoes so that this can keep making, this barbecue house can keep making uh, roast turkeys. <laughs> there is so many resources in this game, and it's absurd. All right, let's do, we got building kits coming along. Let's just keep upgrading these houses. I think we have plenty of, well, maybe not plenty of bricks, but a decent amount of bricks. I want to upgrade this whole area here. Yeah, we're going to run out of bricks building all these houses. Okay, let's see here. Well, that's interesting. I don't think I noticed the, the fields in there before. I don't know if that's new or just I've just never noticed it. Okay, there is not a housing issue anymore, at least, because all of this <laughs> this giant building is at least temporarily holding people. 
once this is done, I should be in pretty good shape. Get the tomatoes going. It's April, so it's not too late in the season. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some production out of it this year. But we'll see. There was a building. I can't remember where it was. It was somewhere in one of these here. Yeah, water nursery. So I can grow the herbs there. That's at the next reputation level. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. To kind of scrap whatever thing I got going on here. And hopefully we can maybe make a plantation up here. <laughs> All right. How is the mulberry coming along? We did get some mulberry. And we want to make silkworm cocoons. I think it's fine to start with one worker and see how... It... You know what? Let's, let's start with two and see how it goes. I, didn't, I missed that pop-up. I didn't see what it said. Hopefully it said everything's awesome. Although I highly doubt it. All right, can we... Where do we build hand carts now that we have the tech research for it? The blacksmith. Okay, so... Are we okay? So, this blacksmith is making these hardwood tools, which I think are better than steel tools. They're at least worth more. Let's switch to hand carts and see how this goes because we definitely could use them. Okay, we do have tomatoes growing. All right, we did get another tech point, which is going really quick. And we wanted to work our way towards fishing. So the knitting workshop can now make nets. Although I feel like we are... All right, we definitely need more reeds. This is not enough. Because we're also doing stuff with reeds over here. We're making backpacks. We're making straw shoes. Which is not going to help us when we're trying to... Uh... Wait, so where do we make that? Knitting workshop? There is no knitting workshop up here. I might have to build one of those as well. So let's build one right over here. I am going to have to build more reed fields, which I think I'm going to have to get like terraforming figured out first because I don't really think there's any place where I can actually put it. Right now. Where is Reed? Yeah. Oh. There is a spot for Reed Field. Look at that. We can put it right here. No. Wait. I thought I had it. I thought I had a spot here. No. There's one. Can we put another one over here? Looks like we can. Okay. 
Well, let's get those built. All right, what can we do here? Donkey meat? Thanks. All right, so we don't really need much of anything that's on the boat here. So I'll probably just stock up on iron ore. <laughs> How much hardwood do we have? We have a lot. It's a lot of cotton. All right, so we can... All right, we, we can just get a ton of iron ore, which is probably the best move because that's a limited... We can only have so much of it. Um, we can only harvest so much of it. All right, let's get to wherever we need to go. And then let's get a piece of beeswax that should max us out. All right, we got plenty of iron ore to work with now. I don't know if that's before or after. Okay, that must be before. <laughs> so we already had a bunch of iron ore. But now we got even more. So that's perfect. Alright, let's get this reed fields up and running. We do have immigrants coming. We definitely lost people. We had like 50 laborers. Now we're down to 30. So we are going to have to accept the batch of immigrants that come through here. How much agave do we have? Not that much. All right, how is the graveyard going? Also not great. There's not a lot of tombstones available. All right, the caravan has returned to town. We are getting kind of low on... Oh, there is a lot of mulberry leaves. So I think we could add a third worker to each of those. All right, timber-wise, I don't think we're producing enough wood. It's helping, but it's not enough. I don't think the immigrants have fully checked in yet. Let's go ahead and form another caravan. While we wait. I'm going to go ahead and pause it while we do this. I think it's paused. Yeah. Trade goods. 0. 0.5. 190. Raw materials. What's going on with the uh, that? Yeah, we're we're building up again. Books are worth a lot. Wow. I should probably make a bunch of books. I want to say this is like heavier, right? Yeah, it's way too heavy. All right, well, it looks like we're going to be going with the, uh, the fat again. One, one, eight, five. Let's form a caravan. Okay, we got that going. Let's get this reed field up and running, both of, both of them. And this one needs to be fishing nets. And then... Where's our town hall? Let's check. Let's accept them. They're all welcome. 
okay so we had a shortage of reeds and that that was creating a bottleneck i believe down here where we were making our rope and hopefully that won't be a bottleneck anymore and we'll be able to just keep churning out baskets and and rope and everything <clears throat> i am going to be making fishing nets now so as we get new tech points Fish pond is kind of the next uh, tech we're going to be using here. We'll be building that on land, which will make more uh, stable output. Although we are, we seem to be running through rope pretty quickly. Oh, well, we got some sick people. All right, so we have churned through all of our coal, even though we are, you know, producing quite a bit. I might add more people to the mine just to mine it a little quicker. But that is pretty brutal. Because they needed to, to heat their house, although supposedly these luxury houses don't need as much. It lasts longer, is what it said. So I will take it at its word that that is accurate. Uh, give them water. Fishery production decline. That doesn't sound very good. Oh, is our, yeah, good. We have enough tomatoes to weather the storm. Although I'm not sure on the butter. We can't possibly have like 20 cows making a bunch of butter. And then we just consume it all making roast turkeys. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. We're using it with the croissants as well. That makes a little more sense. I have a feeling we're going to need to make more rope. Because this is not uh, not keeping up. Uh, let's, let's just make rope here. Alright, is this still making... No, I did convert this over to cotton cloth. We are very, very low on lumber here. So let's go ahead and just fell these trees that are growing in the town. Just get all that chopped down. Generate a little extra, little extra lumber. All right, what else are we looking at here? We did get a tech point. So I should pop it into fish pond here. And let's try to build one, build a couple of those. All right, fish pond. So I'm probably gonna build this up here. Cause I got nothing else kind of going on up here I don't want to go too close to the shore because I might need that space so let's go ahead and build a couple fish ponds and going along with that we are going to have to build some I imagine a transfer station and I imagine we will need a warehouse or two, depending on how many fish this makes. All right, let's get a road going. I kind of hate it if you go a little bit over that the road just doesn't build at all 
instead of just like not building that one spot. All right, I am out of planks. Hopefully that will be remedied. Yep, there it is. All right. Yeah, these transfer stations get really, really filled up. Uh-oh. Caravan met with a mishap. People are dead and goods are lost. Yikes. That was a 2% chance of that happening. And it happened. Well, I guess we just send the next batch. Uh... How are we doing on trade goods here? 24 to 30. And then 1150 of the other stuff. And let's re reform that caravan. I mean, there was a pretty low chance of that happening, but it did happen. So at least we'll have some consistent fish production. Hopefully. Let's see how it goes. I have no idea how much it makes, so we'll have to see it and compare it to this. 600. It's kind of the target number, it looks like. All right, once we get this all built, more importantly, once you get the warehouse built, so they have a place to actually store the stuff. Um, what else can we work on while we are waiting for that? We're out of we're pretty much out of planks. So I need to just kind of hold my horses and, and wait. We are we are uh, starting to make enough rope. Not quite, but we are getting there. We're down to twenty five laborers. I mean, I guess we did lose seven when that thing died, and we are um, we continue to build new buildings that require people. So, I guess that kind of makes sense. But people have been dying because we were at five twenty. Now we're at 507. We may need to build another graveyard because we don't have any tombstones available. Let's uh, gather some of these stray plants here. All right. Almost done with this. We're just like running through the forest here rather than following the road. Well, I guess the road's kind of convoluted, but still, it's got to be faster. We got stone, we got timber, we got iron. That should be built relatively soon. Oh, that is not a lot of fish. Although, we kind of built it partway through the year, so I can't judge it too much. All right, let's get more fish coming along. <clears throat> we definitely have plenty in reserve. This wheat is crazy. I, I'm really getting a backup of food now. Um... Okay, so it's the fishing ports. Are these upgradable? Doesn't look like it. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder 
where are we ever going to find a spot that has that much? Maybe here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's build a road there. Get people in there. Okay, we do have people in this transfer station. So that really should just fill up with fish and then transfer goods elsewhere. Are we out of tools? No. I just had... I just had steel tools as the indicator icon, and I changed this over to hand carts, so <clears throat> we're not making steel tools anymore. Ooh, we're going to need a lot of planks for this. How are we doing on mulberries? Lots of mulberries. So this might have been overkill. That's all right. We're making plenty of silk cocoons. And I think what that means is that we could change some of this bedding over to luxury bedding. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to change all of it over to luxury bedding. Because that's going to be much more valuable. Yeah, both these factories I think would be just fine as luxury bedding goods. Okay, so these produce like one-sixth of this, or one-half. I, I guess it depends on if this is like a fluke and if the whatever that effect that reduced my amount of fish, if that also impacts these, I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> but we do have some more warehouses, and I have a feeling some of these transfer stations are going to be more than happy to shove a bunch of garbage in here. Fill it up, which is fine, because every other warehouse is just jammed to the brim. We don't have any room for anything. Uh, this one's not completely full. How are we doing on fodder? Looks like we're using it up pretty good, although we are overproducing soy and corn, which which is fine. Um, administrative term is about to expire. Let's change the efficiency of processing structures. We already have cattle. I don't need to worry about that. All right, well, we have some storage up here anyway. This is getting built. It's going to take a little time. It needs a lot of rope, needs a lot of planks. Did we get any more? No, we didn't get any extra immigrants. How are we doing on... All right, let's see what we can do here. We need 50 luxury bedding. So we can only obtain these through trade. But I want to say there was a tech. Yeah, here. Okay, so it just unlocked the ability to get it. It didn't actually give it to us. Well, that kind of stinks. Um. Okay, increases happiness. Happiness is good. All right. Merchant ship is at the dock. Let's see how we are doing on our stuff here. 
Um, we have plenty of clay. I don't need to worry about that, I don't think. Coal is something we need. Although puppies, we, we also need puppies. But I think in this instance, I think coal is probably a little, little bit higher priority. 900, 1,000 wheat, or no, 10,000 wheat, and alpaca wool. Okay, that gives us not quite, not quite enough for this, but let's get to 1950, and then I need keep two. Okay, there we go. We got a bunch of coal. That'll take care of our coal needs for the immediate foreseeable future. And I think that puts us in a good spot to put the cut in for today. We are continuing to expand and make our luxury house empire. We have our silk up and running and we are making actual bed sheets at this point. Well, maybe not yet. Where, okay, am I missing something? Where does the silk get made? So that's got to happen here, right? Textile mill or textile water mill. So that's this. Okay, so you are going to make silk. And then you are going to make luxury bedding so we have that up and running and an abundance of food is everywhere we are definitely not shy on food at all and you know what i am going to unlock this last tech here before calling it and i think what we're going to do is work towards this leatherware now that we have this getting built that will yield um seal fur so we could start making more luxury goods handbags and whatnot in the next episode so thank you for watching we will see you in the next one